I am here at, at my uh, yoga instructor, for my yoga instructor's home. And honestly, I'm a little bit nervous and I don't know why. Um, I'm just telling the truth. I'm a little bit nervous because um, he has uh, a role in why I am in my life at this stage right now. And I find that um, God's gift. Good morning, everyone. I've said good morning already. Working out today. I want you to hear the story of this great guy. So I am Jamaican, Chinese, and Italian. Oh, oh wow. Chinese and Italian. Yeah. Okay. But born in the States, so. My human interest segments is I like to uh, share to the world that there are people who are pretty much ordinary, like you and I, but relatable. Human beings out there can relate to us when we tell our story. People who are uh, once from a point of darkness and comes out of there and now you are here and still rising on a trajectory. So Derek, mm -hmm. you, never, you never told me how you got into this. Um, we've worked out for like over a year now and yeah. we've talked about love lives and all. Yeah. You never told me how you got into this business. So this is Alexia. She's one of my new friends, new friends and one of my new young friends. The whole journey with this healing, spirituality, all this fun stuff, started actually the first week in Los Angeles. I found a book mm -hmm. deep in a closet, it was just an abandoned closet in the hostel. And I looked and I picked up the book and it was a book by Joseph Murphy called mm -hmm. The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. Mm -hmm junior year going into senior year of high school back when like when you're in high school you think it's the biggest thing in the world right and I was a chunky kid growing up and just so like what, did you say you're chunky chunky kid you were chunky I was chunky I can't, I can't yeah. believe that yeah really? I wasn't fat but I was chunky I always played sports so I was always like that kept me honest I guess you know but I was still I just woke up one day and I looked at myself in the mirror and I just like made the decision that I didn't want to look like that anymore we met through her boyfriend Derek, who is my trainer, and that's how I met Alexia. I managed to finish high school only because I didn't want to get drafted to the Polish Army. And I ended up being drafted. Mm -hmm. I got a draft letter and I deserted the Army. Oh, okay. And I was 20. I went to England for a couple of years. Would you like to point out of uh, certain instances that you br that brought you from A to, I wouldn't say you're still at Z, because mm -hmm. Z is the peak of success. Mm -hmm. I would say you are like in letter P. I would say like C, but yeah. C? We're, you we're, think you're we're, C? I think I'm a okay, C. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 don't be too to hard on yourself. <laughs> you're not a C. So I kind of do everything. I know that that sounds really silly, but I um, do digital marketing. I also have a full-time job, but I'm a writer and I also act as well. And then I paint in my free time and I don't let one thing define what I am or who I do. I don't really let anything that I do define me, but they're just different parts of me. I really started getting into this yoga thing. I had a good therapist. I had a good AA sponsorship, a good community of friends and slowly, slowly, 11 years later, here we are. 11 years later. Yeah, yeah. I worked for LA Fitness for about two and a half, three years. Felt I learned what I needed to learn and then just took that next step and I found a place and went from there. Zimon, having gone through that, um, what could you say to the other lost souls right now? So, you know, it's just when you look back and you see the magic behind everything you just get to trust life more you just get to enjoy life more and have a kick and a giggle with it that's true that's true i think like growing up everyone's like you have to find one thing that you want to do and you have to be good at that one thing and um there's a saying that's like jack of all trades master of none but no one says the rest of the rest of the phrase and it ends in something like it's better to be good at a lot of things than just a master at one only you even said to me, why are you crying? You shouldn't be crying. Really? Yes, you said that. And not not, sure. not because it's bad. You you wanted me to like wake up. You wanted me to wake up, you know? For me, that's where my energy comes from, is like I'm excited to do what I'm doing. 
I'll do whatever it takes. You know, I'll wake up at three, I'll wake up at four, I'll, I won't sleep until two and I, I don't care. You know, like I will literally do whatever it takes. I've just been focusing on trying to live my authentic self, which is something that you preach a lot. And I think that's what I really resonated when I met you is like you're un unapologetically you. And as I live life and I grow and I learn, I've just been trying to do everything that my heart's desires. And Perfect. I have great influences in my life to look up to Aww. and take it that way. I don't want to get too esoteric, but just, just start with something practical. You don't need to go into you know, all the school stuff. And it's just talking, you know? You want to embody those teachings. You want to create a somatic experience with it. Intellectually, you're there, you know it. And how do you create experience with it? I, I have a lot of big dreams I'd like to think. Um, so now I'm starting to understand, you know, it, Sacrifices just have to be made. You know, you will lose friends, you will lose relationships, you will, it's gonna happen, you know, exactly. but in the long run, you have exactly. to ask yourself, like, is it worth it? You know, and for me, 100%, 1 million percent, of course it is, you know, just, that's just it how is, it is. It is worth it. Yeah. So that's it. Cut, and uh, thank you so much. Mm. Thank American you way coming. of greeting. Yeah. But I'm sure there were many times, many times in the past that just to remember it is painful. And uh, anyway, thank you. Any closing statements? Do good in the world, you know? Yeah. Just be nice, help people, do your best. Exactly. Yeah. Be pure intention. That's it. This is the human interest segment of the art, the artist, the lifestyle, the docu-series. You all have a dream, so follow me. Let us dream together to no end. Together, let us bring our dreams to fruition. It is at your fingertips, you know. Dream with me, travel with me, succeed with me. Together, let us inspire. <laughs>